Hi there, my name is Raul from Colbel team and in this short video I'm going to be showing you in the bot how to add a new choice. Okay, so from here let's say that you are starting to configure your bot. Initially it starts by waiting for the users or the client's answer. This means the first uh, message that you're going to be receiving by your customers or your client. Afterwards, ideally, you are going to be uh, configuring an automatic message, which will be triggered immediately after receiving the first message from your customer. As a form of, of an example, I am choosing here the message of welcome to Colbell. Please confirm your language in the menu below. So here you can see that it says press one for English, press two for Spanish. This message can be completely configured upon your preference. OK, so ideally, uh, if the customer is pressing one or pressing or typing English, um, it should trigger certain action uh, afterwards. OK, so how to trigger those actions in a form of a flow? Ideally, here in add an action, you're able to add a new choice. OK, being English or being Spanish. So let's choose new choice. OK, the title for internal purposes is going to be English. And here you're going to be triggering the choice. So if the customer's last answer is equal, let's say, to number one, which represents English. OK, or if you want to add another condition that says includes, for example, the word English. OK, if you save it, you see that immediately creates the first flow for the English language. So from here onwards, you can um, configure the flow of what will happen uh, or what the customer will be now um, uh, talking to the bot if they choose English. OK, if you want to add another uh, option, you can come here to the plus button. You go again into new choice and you do the same. You put Spanish. We can put equal to if the uh, client press the number two or if they type a word that includes Spanish. OK, and you can see here now that you have both language flows automatically. Bear in mind that it will also create a fallback text. So in the case that the customer is actually typing something which is not English or Spanish or any of the keywords, you can also configure what will happen with the fallback text. OK, what will be the fallback text uh, that you're going to be uh, sending? So if in the fallbacks, you can send a, 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 ma a message or you can send any other uh, action. OK, so that is basically how you can include or this is how you can add or create different uh, options, different choices that upon that you can create different flows of actions upon it. Thank you for watching.